All right, well, Kevin, uh, you just did a panel on building your personal brand, um, and it focused a lot on branding yourself as an artist. But uh, you know, what I was curious about is, you know, how does one brand oneself as an executive in the music business? Something you're very familiar with. <laughs> well, you know, first off, thank you for coming. Uh, we're hanging out at South by Southwest, and um, I wanted to take some time to to speak to to you guys about. Um, the importance of being your own brand. Now, in there we were talking about an artist, but when I talk about a brand, it could be anybody. You know, I, it's like with, with me, people know you're gonna get God bless out of me before I love you. You know, you're gonna make, I'm gonna make sure that I go out of my way to make you feel great when you meet me. I'm gonna go out of, go out of my way to have a value proposition when we get together. And when we leave, you're gonna feel good about our meeting, good about ourselves. So that's the Kevin Lyles brand. You know, I treat people like they want to be treated. There's a difference between good and bad and right or wrong. Well, you started out on the music side, uh, you know, as a, as a writer and uh, as a musician yourself, um, and then you kind of moved over to kind of the executive management side. I mean, when did you know that you wanted to make that transition? Um, and, you know, what would you recommend uh, to kind of up-and-comers trying to decide between the two? Well, I knew when somebody else could sing my records better than me. <laughs> I knew when somebody else made more money than me at, or from my records that it, it wasn't the right thing for me. But I also fell in love and, uh, with the business of music. Uh, it was a time, and I remember I used to go to concerts, and I would wonder why, when Ella would throw, say, throw your hands in the air, and it would be 8,000 people that paid $42 a ticket, somebody made a shitload of money tonight. That can, how many glow sticks, ratio black to white. You know, I was an engineering student, so I was like, oh, I really love the business of this. Somebody, and I remember Shaq had once said to me, he said, Kev, yes, yeah, somebody paid me $100 million, but guess what? I got it, but they paid it to me, so they had more money. So I wanted to be that guy behind the scenes, and you know, as my, my, my good friend Leo would say, the check writer. Given the state of the music industry right now, you know, they're, they're probably half as many jobs uh, you know on the label side as there were maybe when you started out um, is it still makes sense to really kind of angle towards the executive side or is it even easier to to kind of get your stuff out there as an artist these days uh, you know given the advances uh, on the web well I, I think it's a, a threefold question I, I'll, I'll start at the beginning I think the industry is consi uh, because of disruptive innovation is consistently under reconstruction um, I think we went from be being a uh, how can I say low volume, high margin business to a high volume, low margin business in some cases. Uh, I think we, um, yes, the industry shrinking, but look at the great opportunities now. You know, you have artists popping up independently, all, and, and artists been doing independent stuff a long time, but now it's like on steroids, you know what I mean? So, but those people need executives. Those people need managers. Those people need people to promote. Those people need people to be curators. And I, I say the greatest job that you could um, get now is to be a curator, to be next to the artist and help him curate his brand to the world. And that, to me, is why I think, you know, although the quote-unquote traditional label jobs are, are, are smaller, they're greater jobs. But, you know, if you don't adapt to, to change, you'll die. And um, I look at my life from being able to go from an artist to go from a, um, to a label and now to go into the management space, um, I, I think um, somebody said it best, the generation flux. You know what I mean? We, we want to spend, uh, you know, two or three years doing something, then we want to get another tool in our toolbox. You know what I mean? So I'm, I'm open and I don't think that, that uh, anybody should be closed mind on how it was, but what it needs to be.